I will honestly have to say that my growth wasn't, you know, just absolutely massive before the whole social media movement. My associates are going to understand the social media aspect. It's going to set them up for success later on. And it's amazing to me, you know, I go to, you know, hair schools, local hair schools, and I teach, um, you know, business building consultation. And one thing that was bring up is, do we have to have an Instagram? Do I have to do Facebook? I just hate it. And my answer now is just, yes, it's, it's an amazing thing. It's going to set you up for success and it's going to bring money in. That's the end game there. Honestly, you have to love your work and you really have to love your guest. You know, the best compliment for me is when somebody says, you know, I told my friend what an amazing experience I had at Shannon Alexander Salon and Spa in your chair. And that brings me to a point that I was talking about earlier with, you know, Snapchat and Instagram stories and live feeds. You know, my guests are sitting there and I see them Snapchatting their friends, you know, what they're doing. They're excited. You know, they're pumped to be getting their hair done. They want to share this experience with people. So something new that I've been doing is making sure that myself and my associates are involved in their Snapchat experience. So I say, you know, why don't you post a snap of us blow drying your hair today? And I'm telling you what, I had a referral the other day that had never had two people blow dry her hair before. So she was feeling like Beyonce, you know, saying she, she felt like a queen. And I said, well, why don't you make a post about it? And she did. And I ended up with two direct messages on Instagram from people that follow her, you know, letting me know that they would love to come to the salon and come see me. And so it, it, it was awesome. We take and share photos, but I honestly don't put pressure on my guests to tag me or post those photos. I, I give them to them as a reminder of the awesome experience that they had. And if they choose to do so, I just remind them, if you're feeling yourself, if you're feeling beautiful, feel free to give me a shout out and tell them who gave you that beautiful hair. You know, and I find that giving that approach and, and having a no pressure approach, but planting the seed there, honestly, is more successful. And for them to be able to document in real time is an amazing thing because not only do they get to see the hair, the process, the time frame, but they also get to see the beautiful salon environment that I work in. They get to see the relaxing shampoo room with the reclining heated massaging chairs. You know, they get to see those things that are honestly a huge selling point, and a huge factor of why our salon company is so successful. Definitely something I've thought of for a little while, and especially with uh, working with Snapchat here recently um, and being with Michael Cole on Facebook Live, um, you know, these social media outlets, they really push live feeds. And um, it's something that I've thought about doing is having like um, live styling sessions. So I can not only introduce, you know, the salon culture, the environment, the work I do, my associate, but I can also introduce the products that I use and be able to touch on the retail side of things to get people excited, you know, to come in and be educated about what they're doing to achieve their look.